now we've got Wyatt Earp cornered at last. Hold up there, all by himself. Shall we rush him, boss, and get it over with? No. You can't have much grub with him. Maybe one canteen of water. I want Earp to die slow. Wyatt Earp! Wyatt Earp! Brave, courageous, and bold! Long live his fame, and long live his glory, and long may his story be told! The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp, starring Hugh O'Brien. Of all the tough cattle outfits with whom Wyatt Earp tangled in Dodge City, the Big T gave Marshall Earp the most trouble. And of all the attempts to ambush Wyatt, the shrewdest was that concocted by Rance Purcell, owner of the Big T, and Gus Andrews, his foreman. Hired gunmen had failed. A concealed sharpshooter in Dodge City had missed. But the Big Tears took advantage of Marshall Earp's one reckless habit. This was his desire to go it alone when he investigated reports of certain crimes. And one day at Stony Wells, near the Washita River crossing... The dusty road lay hot and still beneath the burning sky. The silence hung upon the air as painful as a cry. And this was not the kind of day for any man to Fighting Indians over yonder? Nah, Big T's got Wyatt Earp cornered over at the old Stony Wells Roadhouse. Come on, chum, it's a free for all. How many against Earp? Oh, 30 at least. Boss says we'll get him sure this time. Come on, don't miss the fun. My horse is tuckered, but I'll be there. Okay, come on. Upstairs, he's having a bad spell with his cough. I won't disturb him too much. And I don't go for 30 to 1, Doc. Why, it's had this coming a long time. Always plays the lone wolf. He deserves to get killed. But, Doc, he's your friend. It, it, seems, it seems like you ought to do something What to... can I do? I'm dying myself, man. Yes, sir, I, I just thought that... Here, drink this and you won't think. Now get out of here. Go on, get. Yes, sir. <coughs> Howdy, ma'am. John, is Wyatt in trouble? Yeah. He's got his fool self cornered by 30 men. I guess I ought to lend him a hand. You lend me one. John, must you? I must, I must. I don't know why, but I must. Go 
Come back here! We'll wear him down! in Stony Well. So oh, it's true then. My deputies are bringing prisoners in. I got some of Wyatt's men and meet you back here in 10 minutes. 10 minutes might make the difference. Right now's the time. Unless you're scared of the boys from the Big T. I'll go any place you go, Doc. Boy. Give me a double. The Big T outfit has Wyatt Earp in a corner at last. How'd that happen? Earp was poking his nose into a couple of killings at the old Stony Wells Roadhouse. Rance Purcell and his men surrounded him. Stony Wells? Yeah. I'm paying off, man. You quitting, honey? Yep. But the bank's in the hole, it'll cost you. Guess that makes us all square. I've got an errand. Ben Thompson, you wait a second. I'm mighty fond of why. But Ben, you can't walk out of here in the middle of a game. What are we waiting for, boss? He ain't sweated long enough, Gus. Suppose some of Earp's friends hear about this. <laughs> friends? Earp ain't got a friend in the whole state of Kansas. We'll take him tonight, in the dark. <laughs> Stop here for a minute. Have a drink of water, huh, cousin? Here you are. I reckon I'd be leaving you now, cousin. Change your mind about helping Earp, Wes? Yeah. And so should you, Manning. Nope. I'm beholden to her. Wait, you can't take sides of that dang Yankee against Texas boys. I can. He saved my cousin Ori from hanging. Didn't he let you go when he could have killed you, Wes? Oh, my wife begged me not to gun him. Ain't the way she told it to me. She said you'd tried to use a quick draw holster and it didn't work. She said Herb sprained your wrist instead of killing you. You want to fight, cousin? I ain't running from one. Wow. Well, that ain't Ben Thompson. How you, Ben? Man and Clements and Wesley Hart. Yeah, howdy. You fellows here by Wyatt Earp? Wes and I was on our way to help the marshal. But Wes got cold feet. Won't you say I'm yellow? Okay. Hold it, Wes. I owe Wyatt considerable. And I'm going to pay him off if I can get there in time. You gonna take sides against Texas boys in favor of a, a Yankee? John Wesley Hart. Seems I recall a poster or two where you're wanted by the Texas Rangers. You're a real patriotic fella, ain't you? Get on your horse, man. We ain't got too much time. Holster your gun, friend. Wes will ride with us. Yeah, my own free will, Thompson. Oh, good for you. Hit the leather. Great tip, Doc. Those are champagne corks popping. Hold it. There might be some more of them joining up with the opposition. Let's get off the trail. Ooh.
First Harden, then Thompson, man and Clemens. Which side you on? Take it slow, Doc. You just know Doc Holliday and Sheriff Bat Masterson. Hiya, Doc. We well, was aiming to help Wyatt Earp. But I don't like any other Johnny Law that wears a star. Take off that star. I don't see what a star We're is. not helping Wyatt any by picking a fight with these gentlemen. They're great artists with a six gun. Or didn't you know? I know. Quite a tribute, Wes. Sheriff Bat Masterson there is quite a hand with the cold, I hear. All right. I'm friendly. Good. Now we'll have to talk this over. We'll use some strategy. And seeing that mine is the only intelligence that's trained in deceit and slimy tactics, I want to offer my advice. Wyatt, one by one, and by different directions. So they can pick us off one by one? Mr. Harden, you don't seem to grasp my major concept. I think I can say without immodesty that the five of us represent the cream of the local talent in gunfight. I'll say I to that. The eyes have it. There's one thing I want you all to remember. I didn't get out of a sick bed just to scare Rance Purcell and Gus Andrews. The doc wants himself a real turkey shoot. And so do I. When that big T rushes Wyatt, they're going to be real surprised how many guns go off. Fun for that. All right with you, Wes. How is Wyatt going to know we ain't from the big T? That's a good point. <coughs> <coughs> Sheriff Masterson will go in first and break the news that the rest of us are coming. Any other questions? Nope. Take it easy, Doc. Why aren't you hound dogs over there helping Wyatt Earp? Play Allison. Howdy, Doc. <laughs> Thought you'd be dead by now. Howdy, Wes. Manning? Ben? Who's the kid? Pat Masterson. You heard of him? Oh, yeah. Howdy, kid. Howdy. Clay, you've been drinking very much? Ah, about a pint is all. Clay can handle himself, Doc. Well, it takes a pint to get him sober. Still, I don't drink no more than you put away, Doc. I thought we came here to save Wyatt. Now, how about it? <coughs> well, don't pay any attention to that. I'll get him calmed down. Wes, you tell Clay the plan. Let's move. No sense in waiting for dark, boss. He's low on cartridges. He hasn't fired the Winchester in some time. Let's rush him. No. Draw the boys off from the north side. Make him think he's got a chance to run. All right, we'll see if we can draw him out in the open. Yeah. Guns away from the north side. Purcell thinks I'm gonna make a run for it. Come on, let's go. No, no, we've got help. How many and how soon? Masterson, give me a hand. <laughs> Doc, you should be in bed. We gotta cover Ben and West. Over there.
They didn't even see us. Howdy, White. Howdy, Ben. Man and Clay are coming in from the north. Remember me, Wes Harden? Yeah, I sure do. <coughs> Anybody got any whiskey? You don't need whiskey, you need rest. Anybody bring water? Water? We brought guns, ain't that enough? men too far to tell a word got out oh they're just a couple of deputies boss both of them are hit let's move in no no not until i'm sure it isn't a posse i'm checking this myself every man lays low till i get back i'm sure glad you brought this ammunition i was down to my last four shells we're paying off the debt marshal now we'll consider it paid can you travel i reckon what do you mean, travel? Just what I said. We'll get out of here the same way you got in here. Uh-uh, what? What do you mean? We made a deal with Bat. This is our show. Let Wyatt say what he'd do. He wants to run. We aim to fight. Doc Holliday, Manon Clements, John Wesley Harden, Clay Allison, Ben Thompson, and Bat Masterson. Great gunfighters. Now, you know we can pick off at least 12 men out there. Well, what's wrong with that? The big T ambushed you, and they plugged Clay and Manor. See, Wyatt, most of us here are Texans. We don't think bushwhacking's fair, and besides, 30 against one. That calls for punishment. I'm running short of breath and temper, Wyatt. We ought to tell the big T what they're up against. Give them a chance to surrender. Oh, that's fine. Oh, hey, Wyatt, Wyatt! You're so ethical, you warn them. Thank you, Doctor. Give me that stick. Get a handkerchief. You was right, Gus. No posse. Let's finish this. Hold your fire! You quitting the fight? No, I want you to quit. What kind of a bluff is this, Herb? It's no bluff, Mr. Purcell. I got six men with me. The best gunfighters in the country. You're a liar. You've only got him and two scared wounded deputies. All right, move in! Kill him! Here they come. Then you got yourself a fight. Keep us covered. Get your own wind. Well, don't be selfish, cousin, man. That was Ben Thompson and Wyatt. There's a lot more of them in there, too. Ah. Look at the shooting from all the windows. Kirk <laughs> wasn't lying. He's got that place filled with fighting men. Let's give up. Let's move. No. We're doing this wrong. Big T! Hold your fire! I want you back here with me! Purcell just doesn't believe it. Looks like they're getting ready to rush the door. Let's go outside and get them. No. We want Purcell and Andrews. No sense in shooting a lot of hired hands. There's quite a few of them down already. Wyatt's running this fight, Doc. When we came here, Wyatt was holed up like a rat. Now he wants to call off the fight. I say we put it to a vote. I'm not for calling off the fight. I want Purcell and Andrews. But only if they force us. Put it to a vote. 
All right. You for me or for Doc? Doc, let's just see how popular you are. West, how do you vote? Wyatt. Ben? Wyatt. 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 Just a passel of sissy boys. Five big tears are dead, and a half a dozen are winged. I vote for John H. Holliday. Count me out. Give him back his gun. Well, I didn't have him cut loose at all. He won't do that. Here's your gun. We still may have to use you. What? They coming right at us. All right, Irk. You and your deputies come on out and make your fight. Now let's go. and Clements, Wes Harden, Clay Allison, Ben Thompson, Texas men, all on the side of a Yankee John Law. Wyatt don't want us to kill all of you. And Doc Holliday, a real southerner from Georgia. Mr. Purcell, we just want you and Mr. Andrews. Now you pick the two of us you prefer to fight, or we'll all go to shooting. You make your choice. The rest of us will stay out of it. All right, all of you, go get your horses. Then pick up your men. are getting ready to leave. Aren't you going to say anything to them? There's nothing to say. Well, as always, thank you. It sounds stupid. Well, you might at least tell them goodbye. Bad manners. Bad manners. Find a lot of friends you've got. Go through a hot tussle with them and all they leave me is half a pint. Just half a pint. They all left? Yep. Marshal Earp hasn't any manners either. He didn't even say so long to men who risked their lives. Why should he? Rascals, killers, hoodlums. Why it'll pray for their poor souls, won't you, Deacon? Yeah, I'll pray for yours too, Doctor. I came here to investigate the murder of these two men. That's what I'm going to do. Take the doctor on back to Miss Kate. Yes, sir. He should have said so long. Don't be an idiot. What did you say when he saved your life? Well, nothing. Then remember that. And remember how the good Lord gave you the wisdom to keep your mouth shut. up the country, the old wild west country, he made law and order prevail. And none can deny it, the legend of Wyatt forever will live on the trail.